Let me ask you something. Do you know that Christ went to the cross for you? Even for non-believers. Christ went to the cross for the whole world. Anything that we receive, we receive because of the love of God. Because God is love. By sending his son Jesus to the cross. Remember in John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him shall not perish. But have everlasting life. And here is everlasting life. To know the one true God. That scripture. Isn't that wonderful that he come down and save us in all of our mess. Think of all the vile and terrible, the vile, filthy things that we've done. Not just you personally, but all the things that some of the people that you know, some of the things that you won't even speak of. All of that is forgiven because Christ went to Calvary. Remember the, the, the nail-scarred hands, the dripping of blood. You can Anything that we receive through Christ, we receive because Christ went to Calvary. Forgiveness of sin. Remember, thought he was red as crimson. Now they're white as snow. We are we are clean. Actually, we after we ask Jesus to come into our life and forgive us for all of our sins. Think about that. All the things that you're doing. Even if you're just a good person, but remember, people do not get to see the Father or go to heaven because they're good. That, that has nothing to do with it. That means you're relying on your own works. Instead of what Christ did at Calvary. And another thing I like to say, just to get off of it so briefly, you've got a lot of people that are responding with not just negativity, but with profanity. Look, when you start using profanity on my channel, I'm going to block you, because that's not why we're here. We're here talking about God. That's what I do. I love God. I'm not perfect. I'm a work in progress. You know what I mean? So let's not go use profanity, because I will block you. I will not tolerate profanity on my channel. Now we get back to Christ at Calvary. I love that. Let, let's read 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 17. For Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, and not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Christ should be made of none effect. That's what the, that's the gospel. That's what, from all the way from Genesis to the New Testament, this is what Christ was sent for. This is why every prophet, everyone was sent. To preach of the coming of the Messiah. To get people ready. Even in the Old Testament. To get people ready. To walk them from the law. To faith. Faith in Christ. At Calvary. And his finished work. Can you imagine that? We have. Now we don't have to. Go to a priest or a pastor. We have the right. Through faith in what Christ did at Calvary. And his shedding of blood. To go right to the Father himself. The veil in the temple ripped at the death of Christ. Isn't he wonderful? As a matter of fact, let's, let's read uh, verse 18, same chapter. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. But unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. Isn't that something? There's power in the blood. Isn't that wonderful? There's healing in the blood. There's salvation in the blood. A lot of people don't get a lot, see, a lot of the, another thing we have to remember, we can't be microwave saints. Just because things, it took a long time for you to be you. I don't care what anybody say. It took me a long time to be me. Look, I have drank over half the United States driving from one coast to the other. I know how God, I know what the power of God is. I'm not thinking, and this is not the prosperity gospel, and I'm not knocking whatever you believe. That's it. But the cross, the preaching of the cross, is salvation. Remember, there is no other name under heaven where men might be saved but through Christ Jesus, Yahshua HaMashiach. The love of God was manifested in Christ and he walked this earth for 33 years. Remember, he could have stayed in heaven because remember, he told the Father, restore me to that which I had before this world began. The glory, restore me to the glory which I had before this world began. That's powerful. And in another place, he said, before Abraham was, I am. Mm, that's powerful. Remember, Christ loves you. You fight the good fight of faith. Watch out for these weird doctrines. Let, let me let me take it to one more scripture. Philippians chapter three. 
verse 18. For many walk of whom I have told you often and now tell you even weeping that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ. Most of these prosperity gospels and people jumping on Vietnam and God, I, I love it when I see people dancing and giving the Lord praise and singing and uplifting his name when it's in done in the Holy Spirit. When it's done in the love and the guidance of the Holy Spirit, then it's pure. But mad may stuff just because somebody told you that you're going to uh, uh, send you a bunch of money and get you a brand new house. That's the, Be careful of these people. Most of these people are going to wind up in hell. Remember, study to show thyself approved in the God. A work for me, not be saying, rightly dividing this word of truth, the Bible. Remember, fight the good fight of faith. And like I said, we can't be microwave sake just because it, do, it doesn't have to right with me say it does not mean your prayer has not been answered. As long as what you are praying for, what Christ died for, you will receive if you faint not. A lot of time what we need is patience and faith. That's what we need first. First, faith and patience. Remember to fight the good fight of faith. God bless you. Amen.